the supermarket provisioning for the middle sea race. Callum, what are your top five things that we need to take? Well, fortunately, I've been in charge of finding snacks. <laughs> and 72 rashes of bacon. <laughs> as many chocolate raisins as they had in the shop, <laughs> as many beef jerky packs as I was allowed to buy, and what else have we bought in here? Uh, lots of cake. Ingredients for fruit cake. Yeah, fruit cake, chili con carne, uh, and baby wipes. <laughs> I'm not going to eat those though. <laughs> so it's uh, day minus one for the Rolex Middle Sea Race. Um, all the food's on board, we've managed to squeeze it into every nook and cranny. Uh, <coughs> you'd imagine that a 50 foot would have lots of space, but it turns out it doesn't. We've now got three of the five jibs um, in the sail pen here, four spinnakers, a stay sail, a code zero, every life jacket you can think of, <coughs> and poor Corey's going to have to spend his life wedged in this space down here. Um, it's uh, a nice breeze and a bit of sunshine, so we're off for a test sail, make sure the sails go up and down, make sure the crew know how to use them, and uh, fingers crossed we're good to go for tomorrow. We are currently having some pasta by the sunset. About to go off watch and get some sleep. How's it going, Kelm? It's good. Uh, okay. uh, still with the fleet. The wind's slowly going right. Uh, sort of gone back 20 degrees in the last hour. Got our A1 up still. Yeah. Um, yeah, just rolling in. Following the, the wind. Wind's following the European one, I'm told. <laughs> and yeah, just comes new pressure scene. So it's uh, coming up to the end of our second day in the Rolex Middle Sea Race. Uh, we are probably now about 30 miles from the entrance to the Messina Strait. Um, we've been a pretty tricky uh, 12 or so hours. Uh, not a lot of wind, um, big shutdown, lots of shuffling around. Um, but good news is we've now got our S2 spinnaker up. We're uh, cruising downhill. Um, six, six, seven knots. Um, not that far from jibing into the uh, to the straight now, um, and we'll enter the straight late on this evening, and then hopefully pop out fairly quickly and uh, be heading towards Stromboli, um, and then from Stromboli, big left turn, and uh, heading down towards the uh, big breeze that we're looking forward to for the finish. Mm -hmm. What's over there? Ah, uh, this is what's been causing all the chaos recently. This is Mount Etna putting some smoke up into the air. <clears throat> the first of two volcanoes I think we're going to see in the next 24 hours. Um, obviously, it doesn't look that impressive from here, <laughs> um, but the next one hopefully we'll uh, have a bit of a light show as we go past that one with some lava and other things going on. This is Cory, our navigator. You can kind of see that it's really dark. Cory, what's going on? We've got to approach Messi now, up here. Uh, wind's going to die slowly, so we still have the S2, a bit downrange, but never mind. A1's ready to go up, uh, so we're trying to say low, so we don't be too far from the other guys here. Yeah. They are, we're here. These guys are going a bit slower than these guys. We're trying to make sure more that we can sneak down, down a lane and move forward. It's going to be light and then we're going to be fighting a bit of tide and Chris going to come back behind us again. Nice. All that for the night. <laughs> Sleep ahead. <laughs> Half an hour till we go and watch. We're just having porridge for breakfast. How's it going, Ollie? Yeah, it's been a fairly steady night. Uh, winds were 
pretty uh, even coming up through the straights, got through that, a little bit of nip and tuck, jive here, jive there, come out past Stromboli. Stromboli's doing his little thing, a few smokes at the bottom of it, on the top of it. Volcano. Yeah, volcano number two on the trip. So uh, yeah, now we're looking for that westerly run. Fingers crossed we can get some good boat speed up and uh, make, uh, make up some of the time that it took to get up to, uh, up to Sicily. But uh, yeah, all said and done, having a great time on the boat. Just changed watches. We're having our dinner. What are you having for dinner, Ollie? Uh, tonight, we're mostly having orange food. <laughs> Boil in the bag. Boil in the bag, orange range. Yep, nice. it's fantastic. With some rice. How was it, Mike? Um, it's obviously food. <laughs> Um, we just had a watch change at six and um, filling up water bottles using the water maker right now. It's um, about 7 a.m. in the morning. We've been uh, chasing one particular boat all night. We're at uh, first 50, racer cruiser, and uh, who have we been chasing? We've been uh, hunting down Matt for it, Volvo 65. Um, as you can just see over on the horizon to windward there. Um, we've been gain, making gains on them all evening. The light and through the power, uh, which considering we're on a 50 foot racer cruise, it's been pretty good, good work for the team. Let's find which way we're supposed to be going. Uh, just here. <laughs> <laughs> that way. And, uh, Volvo 65 is um, having a bit, of, a bit of confusion with that and they're uh, currently on board. Heading that way. No, and please be aware, up ahead there is wind, visible, and there is also Sicily, very well visible. <laughs> Currently just past Sicily, passing some islands which we've got to round, have the kite up and then um, Jack's going to tell us how the race is going for him. How's it going Jack? Well I think it's, I think it's going great, uh, we've got a fantastic crew, uh, it's been very light winds so far which is not the best for our boat uh, but some better conditions are coming up which will suit us very well. But we were afraid that we were going to get stuck in some big holes and not move for ages. And that hasn't happened. But we managed to keep going all the time. So I'm pretty happy about that. Nice. What's your favourite part of offshore sailing? Ah, well, champagne sailing. <laughs> Sunshine, nice stiff breeze, kites up. And we've had a bit of that. We could do with a little bit more breeze. Yeah. But the rest has been there. What's your least favourite part? Um, uh, well, rain. Rain? <laughs> but uh, we won't get too much of that this time. But you know they say, there's, there's no bad weather, there's only wrong clothes. Yeah. <laughs> We just got in this morning from the middle series, got in about half five, six, had showers and yeah, we made it. We're like Seno Series 2019.